What's up guys, welcome back to Terraria. I'm gonna try my best to make this the episode where I finally defeat the final boss, the Moon Lord. So I did prepare a couple of things. First of all, I will stick with melee. I think I had a lot of fun last time. I was pretty exciting and close. So I want to try this again like that. And the first thing I have to do already, a great tip that you guys told me, I can make super healing potions together with just the greater healing potions and one of each fragment, which is actually kind of cheap, I think, especially because there's the alchemy table, which gives you a chance not to use any of these. We can just make as many as we get lucky. Okay, we didn't get lucky, of course. We would have to be really lucky to get more. So we have eight super healing potions, and I guess I can just replace them already and just see how much stronger we are if we use them. But I guess I can just keep both of them. We'll see. I don't think much really changed other than that, but there is something that I have to show about the arena. The first thing you can notice is that these things are gone from here. I put them here in a straight line. Maybe that's easier to use, I have no idea. But now, this is the new and hopefully better arena. I have a much, like, longer roof all atop of this place. And I have a honey place here, a honey place right here, and then one more honey place right here. And then what you can also see are some heart statues, which if I just run around and like that fight against the Moon Lord here, we can just get extra 20 HP every now and then, which seems really good. Heart Lantern, the Mana Lantern here. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this setup here. I think this is really gonna help. I should have a pretty high chance of beating the Moon Lord in this episode. And now we are pretty much done. We can now go back to the dungeon on the left side and fight against the Lunatic Cultist. There's the cultist, let's use our buffs, there we go. And then I guess we're just gonna start with the daybreak because of how strong it is. And then we are melee now. It's gonna be interesting to see how little damage we take, hopefully. I really don't think we're gonna take too much damage. But yeah, look at that, like one attack from the boss, from the lunatic cultist, only deals like 30 HP or something. Okay, find the right one, I think this one. Yes, nice. Okay, so as you can see, this is actually going much worse than Summoner. Summoner seems to be really good against weak bosses like this one. But yeah, this is just like an endurance test almost. We just have to survive, try our best. Don't forget that we have... Which one is the right one? The eyes are different, this one. There we go. This is so good. I'm so glad I know this now. It makes it so much easier that we don't have to fight against the dragons and stuff. I guess I can, if I'm so close, I can just try the... Solar Eruption, like look at this. We don't even have to use any HP potions because we're so tanky. Okay, this is getting a little bit close. No, this is dumb. Come on, give me your money and your souls of light. Where is it? Oh, what? Something activated the dragon, which is odd. Where is the thing? Okay, there. Okay, now there are multiple. I'm uh, once again just relearning this entire fight. Look at that. What are these attacks? I didn't even know all of these attacks, but now the lunatic cult is gonna be dead. Only a few more HP points left. Okay, where's the right one? This one. And bam! Wow, a snipe. One last. Oh god! And of course it starts with the melee one. With the solar one. And I guess I should use the solar eruption here. I'm gonna use an HP potion. 200 HP. How OP. And I guess now... This is just gonna be... Uh, this might be easy. This is... I, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be much easier than... There's the pillar. Then Summoner and Mage. We can't even just go for the Centipedes. Or Crawltipedes, come on. The giant worms in the sky. I won't record too much of these events. I do want to see how it is as melee. But yeah, we've seen them so often already. And as you can see, this is not gonna be a problem. So yeah, I'm just gonna be a little busy killing all the enemies. And it is done. Now we just have to make sure. That's kind of difficult because it's so high up. And the crawl tapetes are all over the place. So this might be uh, kind of challenging if I try to survive here. Maybe I just have to use the daybreak. Look at that. I'm just being bombarded. Okay, wait. Use the daybreak maybe. But no, I need I need the damage. Come on, let's just do it. Hopefully no crawl tapete is gonna show up. I could just... Yeah, of course. I could just stay here. Yeah, and that's not gonna be a problem. And there we go. One more pillar down. Like our third solar pillar by now, I think. Right? 
Let's collect all the fragments. Let's kill all the rest of these people. Not a single death. I'm pretty sure that the melee class here is not gonna die even once to the pillars. The nebula pillar is invading my home. That's not that good. Let's use all our buffs again and use our buffs just to like the regeneration and stuff. Oh god, okay, I remember why I didn't like this one. Oh, maybe I could even try to go into my Moon Lord uh, arena here and try it out already with all the hearts and stuff. Because this is actually difficult. I'm not gonna say this is more difficult than the Moon Lord fight, of course. But just in general, to survive, this is actually really tricky still. Just because as melee, you don't have that much range, you don't have that much power. Oh, now I have to actually... I just said I'm not gonna die and the nebula pillar just wrecks me. Like, the pillars are so different and so difficult for all the classes in the game. It's actually still surprising. One really good tip that I read is you don't actually have to camp at the main pillar. Because once the enemies stop, like, shooting red lasers towards the pillar, that means that the shield is gone. As you can see, we can heal up just to make super sure. Oh god, this is kind of dangerous. Of course, there are no crawl to peats this time to ruin my day. So I can't just tank the damage, I think. Fly around the pillar. And this is gonna be the nebula pillar. Not too bad, we had one dumb death. Which I guess I deserve for getting cocky. But okay, in the end, it wasn't that bad. No other death. And that's it. Come on, kill the last eye. The worst enemy here. And okay. Stardust is gonna be the next. And this time, this is in the desert. But I guess I can still, once again, try the same little cheat. I guess cheat or just tactic strategy, whatever. That I tried last time when I was a summoner. Just stay here, because in the desert, it just gets twice as difficult. And yeah, this might be a little bit more difficult, because I don't have as many, like, orbs that follow around me and kill these enemies. There is a beehive! What? I never saw that before. I could just accidentally, like, hit it by just attacking like that. That is so weird. There is a beehive right there, which I never found. Wow, that is close to the surface. Is that normal? What? Um... Why? That is so creepy. Can I get that? What the heck? How did it follow me from all the way from the desert? What? Okay. And it's actually gonna go all the way? What is happening? Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good. Don't multiply like that. Okay. Oh no, that was a mistake. Queen Bee has awoken. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Queen Bee. This is gonna be a slaughter of the Queen Bee because she literally has no chance. She's essentially like an enemy. Like, I don't know, a tortoise or something. She has no chance. Come on, let's use the daybreak just to make it even more unfair. Come on. Okay, and she just died up there somewhere. There we go. Um, we can destroy the pillar, but I actually have to run away. I, this, the flow invaders are the most annoying enemy in the game. I know, don't, don't bring them to the oh, NPCs. I'm scared now. I hope I can just chill here for a little bit. Oh, man, it's still after me, dude, look at this thing. Whoa, it's a double, double flow invader. Um, kill it, kill it. And then I have to wait for a little bit, regenerate my health, and hopefully uh, then destroy the pillar. Destroy it, destroy it. What am I doing? So many enemies, but it's somehow working. Heal up, just to make sure you don't die at the end. And now I really have to, uh, oh god, try my best, because these Stardust enemies deal so much damage. That's the most dangerous thing, and they have so many projectiles. You don't have a lot of enemies, but every single enemy is a threat, and that's a problem. And the last one, the Vortex Pillar, which is ranged. Not sure if this is gonna be difficult. I think this was low damage, but a lot of projectiles and everything like that. So we will see. I'll try my best. And if I'm lucky, I won't die this time. And there we go. Use the HP potion, just because I don't want any accident to happen right now. Just focus on the pillar. And then, guys, we are already back. Oh my god, seriously, I hate this debuff. The gravity debuff. We're gonna be back to the Moon Lord fight, which is gonna be exciting, it's gonna be crazy. 
but we will see how we do. Now I just have to make sure to collect all the fragments, kill all the guys here, come on, everyone. I guess I can't just teleport back, there's no reason for me to stay. I have all the fragments. Okay, so, Emma, heal me. Um, now I need to quickly go to my potions chest. I need life force. I need iron skin, regeneration, maybe magic power just to make sure. We have super healing potions. I am gonna put this away just so I always use the super ones. I'm not sure if this works anyway, but let's do it like that. And I think that's it. And there we go. Okay, so the eyes open and now I'm just gonna focus on the right ones. Hopefully these two blocks that I put there won't be too annoying because I need to still damage the thing. But right, now I can I can't just go here, I forgot about that. And then the eye is back and then attack the main eye here. Of course, nothing is gonna really be able to hit me here. Nothing evil because I can't just stay under the roof, it's gonna be good. And since the eye just got used, yeah, I can't just go out a little bit and then go back in. There is one Moon Lord hand. I am gonna try, you guys told me, to only use the Daybreak for the hands. And then, of course, the Solar Eruption for the eye. Okay, I missed the eye, that's kind of sad. But I think I'm getting good HP from the heart statues and from the honey. What is happening here? I'm just looking at... The center eye, it's back, so focus on this one, come on, there we go, and run away from the eyes that just spawned, they're gonna come down, okay, now I need to focus, no, I just need to focus on both eyes, both are at around the same amount of HP, I think, the eyes are gonna go right here, ah, darn it, I almost avoided them, okay, and the center eye, jump in the honey, and kill the eye, kill the eye, the eyes are gonna come, and run away, run away. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna focus on this hand now. Get some honey, get the heart statue. Very good, very good so far. This is actually looking super good. I'm gonna assume it's... It's maybe just our... Our heart statues that really give me so much HP back. Because I wasn't that good last time. Really something huge changed. And I think it's actually the heart statues. Which is pretty darn good. I'm gonna focus on this hand now. And then, of course, always focus on the center eye. The eyes are gonna come. Oh, did I actually avoid that? That's amazing. But okay, get the... The Moon Lord. It's just called Moon Lord? Ah, Moon Lord's hand. And a hand and just the Moon Lord. Okay, so no center eye or right eye. It is just the Moon Lord, the centerpiece. Um, and now I can still attack the right one. But now we have this one again. Hopefully I'm gonna be safe here. Ah, that was a good dodge. That was actually a super good dodge. This is a pretty good spot. To attack the right, um, the center eye, the moon lord, directly, I think. And okay, now focus on this hand. Okay, and now I think we're at the moment where I can pretty much maybe even go outside. But I'm too afraid of the laser, to be honest. I don't want to mess it up now. This is such a good strategy. So I think I'm just gonna stay here at the center eye. And should I put the dragon away so the dragon doesn't accidentally kill one hand? I think that doesn't really matter that much. I'm just gonna go outside, guys. It's time to go crazy, and let's do it. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. But it really doesn't matter anyway. I can't just stay here. And then, as soon as the Moon Lord is back to this form, I can just go back into my hidey hole. Oh, no, I can't hide here. Okay, there we go. Um, heart, drink, heart, maybe use an HP potion just to be super safe. Both hands are still alive. That's pretty good. This is going super well. I'm just afraid of the second phase. I messed up. Okay, now it's gonna get hard. One hand is down. Um, panic. Now it's time to panic again. I just have to really make sure, come on, that I can kill the eye, hopefully. Okay, the eye's back. Come on. I avoid it and kill it. Kill the eye as fast as possible. Is it gonna die now? Nah, one more, one more turn. I have to survive for one more turn, which actually means I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out because this is not gonna take a long time at all. I'm just gonna do this, I think. And hopefully it's gonna die soon. And it's dead. Okay, okay, now we are back to this phase. I think last time this kind of worked that I just fully started using the daybreak. And I'm just gonna run away from it. I'm gonna go back into my little thing here. Get the statue, get the honey, get the statue. And then attack this thing again. And this kind of works all the way until I uh, get to low HP. Kind of like this. Then I can turn around. Okay, use the fish run mount. Because 
you get the boost. And where to? Where to? Right up here. Ah, darn it, darn it. Use the HP potion. And heart, honey, heart. Perfect, perfect. Almost back to full HP. Come on. And now I really need to focus more on avoiding and dodging those eyes. The eyeballs that fly around. So I guess I can try to always go up and down. Yeah, repeatedly. Okay, this kind of works. And then... Oh, kind of risky here. Change direction. But this is looking super good. Use your buffs again. No, the buffs are gonna run out in 20 seconds. I have to remember to reuse all of my buffs in 20 seconds. Use the daybreak. And now I'm gonna go back into this hole. Heart, honey, heart. No HP potion yet. Oh god. Okay. I used my things again. In 3 seconds I have my HP potion ready. I'm gonna use it immediately. Come on. Okay. And we are back at 600 HP too. This is going pretty well. Now I just need to... Uh, dude, the Moon Lord is pretty close for some reason. That's kind of worrying. This is still difficult actually. I was worried it might be too easy with the things. Okay. Wait a minute. What the heck, dude? This is not a good idea. Okay. That's not too bad. I'm not angry. That was a very good and actually kind of easy attempt. But that gave me a very important thing that I have to know, a very important bit of information. Never change direction in the last moment of the Moon Lord fight, or you will just die because of that. But good thing I still have the fragments, I can try again right away, and I really think we are going to beat it this time. And it's time. Let's do this one more time. This isn't even the last try. I still have one more Celestial Sigil that I can do. But okay, back to our old strategy. Use the buffs, of course. Don't forget that. That would be really dumb. Okay, I knew that the eye is gonna come out right now. So I'm gonna focus on the center eye on the Moon Lord. And okay, now it's back to the hands. This is going pretty well like last time, I guess. Just don't mess up. I am actually taking a lot of damage. Wait, did I use all of my buffs? Am I doing something wrong? Do I just have to take it a little bit slower? Maybe. I'm gonna try to take it a little bit slower. Okay, Moon Lord, Moon Lord. Very good. And run away. Dude, I'm taking so much damage this time. I have no idea why. Get your two things. What the heck? This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. But okay, the eyes completely missed me. That's kind of lucky. Okay, and now the center eye is back. Use the two hearts. Use the two hearts. Okay, okay, stabilize. We have to stabilize. We have to make sure we really stabilize really quick. Okay, the eyes are here. So quickly run away. Ah, it hit me. One eye hit me. But okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna run like that. Okay, perfect. Avoid the eyes. And we have our HP potion. Perfect. Now we are back in stable territory. So now it's gonna be pretty good. I need to get the heart statues. Go away. The crimson thing. Um, what is that? Was that a slime? I think that's a slime. What the heck? A random slime. I think a green slime. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Buffs are still active. Um, center eye, center eye. Don't forget about that. I completely forgot about that for a little bit there. But okay, now we are stable again. We don't have to freak out. This is back to uh, the average just Moon Lord attempt, I guess. I'm getting a lot of good damage on both hands. And the center eye is back. So make sure you focus that. Get some honey. Get some honey. Get the two heart statues. Actually, no, don't. Because we are at full HP. I'm actually gonna avoid it. So I don't use it up. Okay, now I need the heart statues though. So one and two. Okay, okay. Um, I think the eye is gonna be open in a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I am getting kind of good in like predicting when the pattern is gonna change up. And the center eye is gonna go up. Okay, and now focus on the left eye. It's gonna go down like the right eye. And then we are in a pretty good spot to only focus on the center eye. There we go. Now it's time. Now it's time to really just chill, take as little damage as possible, and only focus on the center eye. And then the victory is gonna be ours if this works out. Because once I'm in the second phase, I think I finally know how to really dodge everything properly. I just have to make sure... Come on, come on, center eye. Okay, I have a good amount of HP left. Actually, full HP right now, so I can fully focus on this. Maybe dodge it? Oh, that was a perfect dodge! How did I do that? Okay, now, make sure you don't attack the two hands. Just kind of jump around like a crazy person in the middle here. And dodge the eyes, and dodge these eyes. And I can feel it, the eye is gonna open up right now. So I'm gonna jump around here. Deal as much damage as possible, get a heart statue, perfect. I did get hit there, that's not that good. But okay, I think it's gonna be time soon 
to fully focus. Oh god, on both hands too. This is so nice. I love this fight. I think I already said that so often, but I just have to say it more. This is such an amazing fight. I love it. And I think the eye is gonna be dead now. Come on, how much more? And it's dead. Okay, now this one. Come on. Quickly, quickly. I'm gonna use an HP potion. You need to kill the eye. Oh god, oh god. And it's time to panic. Okay. Okay, there we go. And one more eye. I'm gonna use Typhoon. Okay, it's done. It's done. Now I need to use my strategy. Oh god, the eyes. The eyes. Um, this is not good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away now. I'm gonna run away and always go up and down because I think that was the strategy that I need. I'm actually just gonna fly and I'm gonna fly up and I'm gonna use the Razor Blade Typhoon because I don't, I think this way nothing can actually hit us. This is like a cheat way, of course, except the laser. But if I kind of do it like that, I can't just wait here. No, my NPCs, don't you dare. Okay, come on and use it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very good. Now I kind of want to actually see where the Moon Lord is. Oh God. Whoa. Oh, the ninja gear. The master ninja gear saved my life there. Okay, run away. Oh, this is not good. Use statue, statue, run away. I need to be able to go up. I think the eyes are gonna come soon. Oh, hello dragon. You're still here. That's nice. I'm just gonna drop down here. Ah, that was a good call. It was a very good call. And now I need to fly up. Fly up all the way. And I think I'm gonna circle around the moon. Oh, oh my god. I lost my wing power. I'm dealing too little damage. I need to deal more damage. I need to actually focus on hitting the moon lord. Because this is not gonna work like that. I'm gonna go through my little hole here. No, I, I'm actually too high. I'm gonna use my HP potion right now. And then I'm just gonna stick with the pattern. I do want to wait here a little bit because I need to see where is the Moon Lord. Okay, right here. So I think this strategy works right now. I can get a lot of nice damage in right now. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is going well. Oh, why is this so good? I'm not taking any damage. I think the eyes are gonna come. Are the eyes gonna come? Yeah, they are. There they are. Okay, 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 okay. This is working. This is working. Go down. Get your wings back, and okay, now just focus on attacking the heart. A lot of good damage on the heart, or the core, I think. Yeah, the core, was it? Oh, that's not good. A double eye, almost a double eye shot. That could have gone so badly. I'm gonna use my potions once again, refresh them. Thank God I thought about that, and use your HP potion. And okay, okay. And now just keep flying, keep flying to the left. And if I don't mess up now, I mean, this is gonna be the ending. Oh my god, okay, okay. Thank you, Master Ninja here. I think it saved me. This is gonna be it! We did it! Was that it? There it is! It is done! The Moon Lord score is done, Moon Lord. Goodbye. And we have done it. The champion of Terraria. We have actually beaten the Moon Lord. Hell yeah, we have defeated the final boss of Terraria. That was it. That was actually a super nice fight. Just in general, of course, not too impossible. You don't need the biggest thing, the strongest weapons ever. But just really fun, really makes you run away from the final boss, which is interesting. You do feel really weak and small compared to the Moon Lord. But okay, that was it. I guess we have the treasure back here, but we are going to teleport back. Emma, where is Emma? There we go, you survived. Thank God, but I didn't even need your help. I did it all on my own. With, of course, the Stardust Dragon. Don't forget about that. But okay, now, oh, what is that? Nebula Laser. Let's put torches here to honor it. Okay, now, the final thing we can do is, of course, open the treasure bag of the Moon Lord. What are we going to get? I actually have no idea. Of course, it's random. I'm excited. Let's just open it right now. And we got... Okay, we got Luminite, a pebble of the heavens, which I guess a hundred is like the uh, the ore, the bars which you can make some new armor with. We have a gravity globe, allows the holder to reverse gravity. It's a permanent gravity potion, which is kind of OP, so you can essentially just sell all of your gravity potions because you have the gravity globe. Um, we have the Lunar Flare. Uh, magic damage, of course. Rains down Lunar Flares. That is actually a suspicious looking tentacle. Equipable. Okay. Oh god, that is so creepy. It's like sticking on us. Wait, I need to get rid of this die. And maybe this die just to make it fully original. There we go. We have an eye sticking on our head. But uh, yeah, 
This is actually kind of cool because I still want to try those events and stuff and mage was the best one So maybe this is also again a sign that I should whoa. Oh everything is dying I'm sorry that I should uh, stick to mage or rechange to mage But okay, we got the lunar flare anything else anything. I forgot the portal gun It's actually like literally the portal gun from portal Even the sprite. It's just the portal gun Okay, so is it right and left? Yeah, right and left. It doesn't work on the platforms, it's always annoying. Can I just... Okay, wait, can I do it like this? Ah, it doesn't hit there. Maybe like that. Whoa! Okay, that's pretty awesome. Wait, 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 I want to try something. I'm pretty sure you all know what I want to try. I can try it right here in my arena. Okay! Okay, it works, but that kind of looks kind of creepy. Wait, another thing. Um, if I do it like that and that... There we go, that's the most fun thing to do. Okay, we have the portal gun, we have the lunar flare, we have everything pretty much. Of course, we do want to try the gravity globe too. Uh, let's put it here, and then press up to reverse. Ah, right, this up, to reverse gravity. That is so odd. Wait a minute, can you do a full gravity change playthrough? Like an extra challenge, does that work? Full gravity change playthrough? That would actually be kind of interesting. And then, like, imagine you fight the Moolah right now. Or maybe you can just... Does it help you? Because you can, like, fly like that and then go up. Oh, you can change gravity if you're flying. So you have to do it like that. That is so trippy and kind of makes me feel sick. So let's not do that anymore. But okay. That was pretty much everything here. That was the epic Moon Lord fight. That was so much fun. We have some nice new items. Of course, I am going to try to make some new armor. But actually, I think I'm not gonna make any armor just now because I have to decide which one is the best one to make for the future or just in general the best one to do. But for now, we can just be happy, I guess, that we beat the Moon Lord. We did it. We beat the game. Really, right now, I'm just gonna wait for you guys. You guys right now can decide everything. You can decide what we should go with. Should we go with mage or melee, ranged or whatever? And should I also continue still? Should I once again try some more events? Or should I just wait for maybe a new Terraria series? I always said that I wouldn't mind doing one. But I did always say that it's not gonna be immediately after this one. I do have some other stuff planned. But in the future, honestly, I have no problem with another Terraria playthrough. Starting from the beginning, maybe with mods, maybe a class playthrough, anything like that. Just to really get even more out of this game. Because it's so much fun, I really had so much fun with this playthrough. So you guys can decide everything. I can't wait to see what you guys want. But for now, I guess that pretty much wraps up this episode. We did it. We beat the final boss, the Moon Lord. Like I always say, such an awesome fight. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And until next time, take care.